Hey everybody, Mike Day here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how much does stamp concrete cost. So let's get right to it. Now, in general, most of my stamp concrete projects cost about twelve to fifteen dollars a square foot. And I mean that's going to vary, obviously, depending on where you live. But for me, living in Maine, up here in the Northeast, twelve to fifteen dollars a square foot is about the average cost. So let's break down the cost of that. What's included in that cost? All right, here's, a, here's one of our more popular patterns we do, this majestic ashlar slate pattern right here. Um, we do a lot of these right here. Uh, people really like this pattern. It's a nice pattern for a patio, for a driveway, for a walkway. The ridges aren't too big on it, so you can put down tables and chairs. This is a nice pattern right here. All right, so what's included in the cost of most of my stamp concrete projects? Let's go right through it. The first thing is four inches of concrete. We use a 4,000 PSI concrete for our exterior projects here in Maine. Uh, reinforcement, I tie a rebar mat about two foot on center, or we use the wire mesh for reinforcement in our stamp concrete projects. We'll even put fiber mesh in the concrete for added reinforcement. You can't see this, but it's mixed right in the concrete and it comes right out of the truck. The labor to form the edges, whether we need to use 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x8s, whatever we need to use to form the project, that's included. The labor to pour and, and level the concrete. And then the labor to stamp the concrete with whatever pattern you choose. Uh, we also include one color for the concrete so whether you need it tan or darker gray or light gray or black or red or whatever color that's included and then one release agent color the release agent just keeps the stamps from sticking to the concrete but it also adds a secondary color to the surface to give it kind of an antiquing effect kind of like what you see here uh, this Fieldstone pattern probably had like a mocha brown for the interior color and then maybe a charcoal release agent to give it that kind of blacker look in some areas. And then uh, number nine, what some other things that are included are we saw expansion joints in the concrete after we're done to help control any cracking or minimize the cracking. We clean the concrete after and we put two coats of concrete sealer on before we're done. Those are the basic costs of the stamp concrete projects. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, these, these ones about what does concrete cost, give, give me a yes in the comments so I'll know, so I'll, and I'll keep doing them. If you don't like them, then just say no. And it also, if you do like them, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button while you're right there and the little bell notification. That'll keep you updated on my future upcoming videos. So those are the basic costs and the reason there's like a like a three dollar range there is because some jobs are just more difficult than others some of them are harder to form some of them might depend on how big they are they might re require multiple pours some we can just do in one pour uh, some of the colors that we have to buy for the concrete are a lot more expensive than others and then some projects we just have to we have to mask off everything. We got to cover everything so we don't get it dirty. And that requires a lot of extra time and labor. So that's why some jobs might be $12, some jobs might be 15 Now, what else would make your stamp concrete project cost more than $12 to $15 a square foot? Well, if you have more than one pattern, if you want two different patterns in there, that's, that's a lot more work. It might, might require us doing it in two pours. So that would cost more. If you want a border around your, around your patio, your walkway, that would cost more. Uh, adding more than one color, either coming back and staining it or, or do it in multiple pours, obviously adding more color would, would add to the cost. Thicker concrete, maybe for a driveway. Uh, small projects, ones that are under 400 square feet, those usually tend to be more per square foot because the cost just isn't there if it's only twelve to fifteen dollars. So we got to. Sometimes they might be up to twenty dollars a square foot. 
if you want to add styrofoam under the concrete, like where we live in Maine, we have a lot of freeze and thaw cycles. So sometimes adding styrofoam under the concrete will help keep the concrete from heaving in the winter and cracking. And then also having to pump the concrete. If we can't reach the project with a concrete truck and we have to pump it, let's say over your house to the back or anywhere, it's the pump truck costs us about $900. So that would add to the cost. Here's another one of our more popular patterns, this 16 inch barn board pattern. We do a lot of these. This is a really nice looking stamp concrete pattern right here, guys. So what's not included in that cost? What's above and beyond what we've just talked about already? Well, any of the gravel work, if you need the area to be dug out, if it's, if it's loomy, if it's got a lot of clay, if it just needs to be dug out, filled in with gravel, compacted, leveled and prepared for the concrete that's usually not included you know removing the grass removing trees and then coming back after in in uh, fine grading around it looming around it doing any type of landscaping that's not included that's going to be extra and for me personally i'm just a concrete contractor so i don't do that stuff i usually hire an excavator to work alongside with and they'll get it prepped and then they'll come back and they'll do the finishing touches when we're done. So how do you find somebody to do your stamp concrete? I mean, if you're not if you're not in Central Maine and you can't hire me, then how do you find somebody? Well, what I suggest to people first is is find your closest local ready mix concrete supplier. These are the people who deliver the concrete to people like me, the contractors. And they know everybody that, that does concrete floors, concrete slabs, and also stamp concrete. So, and, and I mean, they've worked with us long enough to know who might be a little better than some of the other guys. So I would definitely recommend calling the, the ready mix supplier first and getting a referral or two from them. And then also, if you, if you know anybody in the concrete business, whether they do foundations or whatever they do, I mean, we all know each other. I'm sure you could get a referral from that person. That would probably be your two best sources. I mean, other than that, you're just Googling, you know, stamp concrete and then maybe your town or your closest city. And then some stamp concrete contractors should pop up, you know, on the first page. And that would be your other starting point. And then I always recommend, look, this is an art. Stamping concrete is different than doing floors or doing slabs. So most guys think they can do stamp concrete, but they really can't do it right. So I would definitely recommend getting at least three estimates if you can find three qualified people. At least two, but three's better. And then going out and maybe checking out some of their work. Do they have a website with pictures on it? Things like that would help narrow it down. If you can, go look at their work. Talk to their customers and see, you know, how guys like me perform on the job, how we are to work with, how we are to communicate with. That's a big plus. If it's done right, your stamp concrete should last for many years. Um, just simply by cleaning it every year, maybe a light pressure wash, and then resealing it every couple years, maybe two to three years, would also help preserve the concrete itself. So, I mean, that's it, guys. That's, uh, that's how to... Find a stamp concrete contractor and how much stamp concrete costs. So hopefully, you know, I'll leave this page as a reference for you down in the down in the uh, details, so you can click on it and come here and read it over. And then, uh, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.